Welcome to all of you. I am Prakash Shruti. Today's topic is indigenous milk product that is the paneer production process. In this video discussion, you will learn what is meant by paneer as per Food Safety Standard Group of India, its standards, production process, name of the equipments, the parameters which are required to properly control to produce the good quality of the product and its storage condition. Paneer, it is a product obtained from coagulation of the milk in which the raw milk that is the cow or buffalo or mixed as standardized milk in which minimum fat percentage required that is the 4% is cow and the 5% in buffalo milk are properly boiled up and after that addition of the hot dilute lactic acid or the citric acid solution into the milk for the protein coagulation process and after the coagulation of that milk protein whatever the whey is generated this whey is removed by the straining process and resulting we get the chana and paneer in this production process other ingredients like the sugar starch color flavors are not allowed to add into this product as per the initial raw material, the paneers are two types in which high fat content paneer and second is the skim milk paneer. As per the food safety standard of India, the minimum fat requirement and the moisture requirement in high fat content paneer, minimum moisture required that is the not more than 70% moisture and the milk fat content shall not be less than 50% on the dry matter. In the low fat or skim milk paneer, we should require to contain not more than 70% moisture and not more than 13% milk fat on the dry basis of the final product. These are the minimum requirements in the paneer. The acidulant which is used for the paneer production process in which mostly organic acids in the range of 1-2% to 2 diluted hot organic acids which are added into the boiling milk during addition of the organic acid slowly added with the continuously stirring process approximately required 2-2.5 to 2 gram of the acids for the coagulation of the complete one liter of the milk. The main acidulant in which the citric acid, lactic acid, then acetic acid that is the vinegar and the lemon juice. In industry level citric acid or the lactic acid as a main acidulant used for the paneer production or the home scale by using lemon juice or by using the vinegar we can produce the paneer. As per the approximately composition of that paneer in which moisture containing 50 to 55 percent fat containing 20 to 30 percent and the protein 14 to 20 percent these are the compositions specifically depending on the initial type of that milk which is used in which containing the fat and SNA percentage the main application of the paneer in which first if we use the lactic acid for the paneer production then the granular texture of the paneer is produced which is used for the production of the rasgulla if we use the citric acid as acidulant then smooth texture paneer is produced which is used for the sandesh sun that is the bengali sweet like the peda production then main application of the paneer for the production of the cooked vegetable dishes and the number of the production of the sweet the specifically depending on the application of that paneer use of acidulant this acidulant which is affect on the final textural property of that paneer as per the our need or the application we can use the specific organic acid for the paneer production production of chana or paneer in which the small scale or at a home scale the basic step involving first that is the raw milk maybe cow milk or buffalo milk or maybe mixed milk as one as to one proportion 
directly boil into the iron kadi or maybe kawa making machine or into the pan then boil for at least 5 to 10 minutes then after that separately prepare the dilute organic acid solution that is the 1 to 2% organic solution so or maybe used as a lemon juice or the vinegar solution which is must required to dilute solution if we add the concentrated solution the textural property of the final paneer is affected must be required to dilute solution of the acidulant with hot dilute solution is used for the coagulating agent after the boiling of that milk added the hot solution of the organic acid that is the 1 to 2% and continuously stirring until the complete coagulation of the milk protein and after that coagulated milk protein is separated by using the muslin cloth or by using the stainless steel strainer to remove the whey and finally that muslin cloth containing coagulated mass is hanged to further drain out the whey and finally this product is called as a chana and if this chana is we pressed by using the paneer making machines finally we get the paneer the difference between the chana and paneer is that only paneer is uh, that is the coagulated milk protein is pressing process is carried out and chana without pr pressing process we get the chana as a product finally whatever the product that is prepared which is immersed into the clean chilled water for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then finally drain out cut and packed into the plastic bag and stored under the refrigeration or the frozen condition you can see in this picture the production process of the paneer into the small scale or in home scale that is the first milk boiling then addition of the acid solutions then continuously stirring and coagulation of the milk proteins the milk coagulated which is separated by the straining process then hanging process after the hanging we finally get the chana and this chana is used for the paneer production this chana is pressed properly then pressing for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then pressed chana is called as paneer then cut into the as per our requirement size and packed and stored under refrigeration condition main equipments required for the paneer production process for a small scale by using the kawa making machines and the paneer press or a simple steam jacketed kettle is sufficient for medium or large scale paneer production setup you can see this is the complete setup of the paneer production in which the provided steam jacketed tanks with the control fittings and the pipeline systems and small scale by using the kawa making machine for the milk boiling process this is the paneer press as per uh, our requirement there are a number of the paneer press models are available this is the equipment used for the pressing of the paneer muslin cloth at least this uh, two equipments that is the kawa making machine and the paneer press these two equipments are sufficient for the paneer production process at a small scale commercial manufacturing process of the paneer the complete flow sheet of the commercial manufacturing process that is the industrial level of the paneer production process in which the first whatever the milk milk pre processing mostly is as a buffalo milk that is the full cream milk at least required 6% fat and uh, 9% snf in order to get the final good quality of the product maybe mixed with the 1 as to 1 proportion of the cow and buffalo milk for the final textural property of the paneer is very good after the pre processing of the milk milk is directly taken into the steam jacketed kettle for continuously heating to boil the milk for at least 5 to 10 minutes and after that boiling this milk is taken into the milk coagulation tank in which the temperature of that milk 
in the range of 9 to 200 degrees Celsius and after that taken off this hot milk into the milk coagulation tank add with the dilute solution of the citric acid or maybe lactic acid solution this solution is required to preheat at least 70 degree Celsius and the dilution is the ratio of 1 to 1.5 percent this is continuously added with the proportion of the quantity of the milk and continuously stirring by hand. This is operated batchwise process in which coagulation tank coagulation is completed after the completion of the coagulated. The drain wall is open and whatever the way is generated, this way is drained out. The remaining paneer, this paneer is taken for the pressing process. This curd to obtain is filled into the hoops lined with the cloth and after that they are pressed into the by using the paneer pressing process. The pressure specifically applied 0.5 to 1 kg per centimeter square. Sufficient pressure to final shape of that paneer we get. Then after that paneer removed into the hoop that is the molds and funnier blocks these funnier blocks are emerged into the 5% brine solution that is the salt solution at a temperature 4 to 6 degrees celsius for 1 to 2 hours emerged into the brine solution for, for improving the textural properties and finally drain out then pack it into the packaging material maybe packaging carried out by vacuum packaging system and after that packaging stored under the refrigeration and the frozen conditions. These are the basic steps involving in the paneer production process in the industry level. The main parameters required to control that is the first that is the properly boiling of the milk. First CCP, then second CCP that is the prepared the dilute solution of the organic acid solution which is the at least temperature required 70 degrees Celsius add proper proportion with respect to the quantity of the milk and next CCP that is the pressure applied for the paneer pressing process and finally packaging in which the properly packaging is carried out these are the minimum of uh, critical control points required in the paneer production process the main factors which are affected on the quality and the yield of the paneer in which first the type of the milk by using specific type of the milk and it's containing the fat and SNU percentage are very important. If we use the cow milk for the paneer production, then paneer is produced for very smooth in texture, the soft and the light yellow in color. If we use the buffalo milk only, then paneer is produced which is the coarse in size, coarse in texture and the hard and whitish in color. If the proportion of the cow and buffalo is used one as to one, that is the mixed milk, the paneer is produced with the medium soft then smooth with the good color and uh, if we use the skim milk paneer then finally we get the paneer which is the uh, hard surface then rubbery and chewingy property mostly uh, in order to get the good quality of the paneer mixed milk is best for the in which one has to one proportion of the cow and popular milk finally we get the soft with the good textural property and the good color of the paneer we get. Other important parameters in order to get the good quality and quantity of the paneer required to some of the point consideration in which the quality of the raw milk should be required to high quality. Then second one is the use of acids, its concentration and the temperature. These are the three main parameters required to properly control. Then boiling of the milk that means milk should be required to properly boil to disturb the all pathogenic microbial loads then coagulation temperature that means the coagulation temperature which is also affected on the textural property of the paneer which is required to at least uh, 70 degrees celsius proper temperature in order to get the good uh, result in the textural property of the paneer of the paneer in which the main factor that is the initial solid content of the milk which is affected on the yield quantity then moisture rating the final product the straining technique loss of the milk solid in the way these are the factors which are affected on the yield of the paneer mostly uh, as per the use of the milk in which the, if you, you 
use cow milk then we get the 16 to 18 percent of the yield of the paneer and for the buffalo milk we get the 22 to 24 percent yield of the final paneer with containing 50 percent moisture you can see after the preparation of that paneer must require to properly packaging in which packaging is carried out by using the LDB bags, the retort bags, vacuum packaging system, laminated bag systems in which the pack as per the need of the customers. Finally, storage of the paneer must require to after the preparation of the product properly packaging and stored under the refrigeration condition for at least 15 days and frozen conditions for um, maximum 6 months. Retort packaging system is also used for the innocent technique for the stored under normal condition for at least six months these are the references used for this preparation of this powerpoint presentation in this video discussion you learn what is meant by paneer its standards uh, production process parameters and what are the parameters which are affected on the quality of the final product thank you very much